Have you ever been completely worn out from chasing a woman you love, only to find that no matter how hard you try, it all seems pointless? Other men, on the other hand, seem to easily attract their dream women and live happily ever after. What are these men doing that you and I aren't? Today we'll look at some of the most important ideas in Stoicism to give you real advice on how to approach relationships with wisdom, self-respect and dignity. We'll also talk about nine powerful ways to make yourself more attractive. It's not just about romantic relationships. These tips are meant to help you connect with everyone around you better and live a more fulfilling life. If you have trouble not putting too much emotion into relationships or just want to improve how you connect with others, this video is for you. We'll bust some myths, give you some good advice and help you see the world of relationships through a more stoic lens. If you're ready to change how you connect with others and yourself, stay tuned. These insights could be a game changer for your personal growth and happiness. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support our channel. And please leave a comment below if you relate to any of the upcoming revelations. Allow us to begin. Number 1. Embrace your inner strength. There is a big difference between being truly good and just being harmless on the path of personal growth, especially from a stoic point of view. Stoicism tells us not to be passive, but to build up our inner strength and resilience. You can tell the difference between someone who just exists and someone who has the power to change their surroundings. This is where the idea of being a controlled force comes into play. Society tells you to tame your assertiveness and avoid being too competitive. They may even tell you that being non-threatening is the best way to be. But this misses an important part of personal empowerment. It's not about aggression, it's about potential and control. Being a controlled force means recognizing your abilities whether they're for disruption or assertiveness, and learning to master them. Imagine a lion that is both strong and calm. It's not the lion's anger that deserves respect, it's the calm. Being in charge of its own strength. These are the traits you should have. Self-sufficiency isn't about not needing anyone, it's about not being needy. It's a subtle but powerful difference that makes you more attractive to potential partners and in all of your relationships, Stoicism doesn't teach avoiding your darker sides. It teaches integrating and controlling them. Remember that someone who can't show their strength when they need to will probably fail when faced with challenges in the real world. Finding this balance where you are strong but not overbearing, capable but not reckless, and powerful but calm is what real strength is all about. In practice, work on improving yourself. Your skills will improve as you show focus and respect for yourself and others. Try things that push you and always aim for personal ex excellence instead of chasing relationships, for example. Spend money on yourself, learn a new skill, improve your knowledge and create a life that people are naturally drawn to. This path will not only help you grow as a person, but it will also give you a genuine and compelling presence that people find admirable and attractive. In other words, be the strong and whole person not because you want approval, but because you are living your values. This is the essence of attraction through Stoicism. Number 2. Don't chase them. When looking at personal growth through a Stoic view, chasing someone, especially in romantic pursuits, can often mean that you don't know what you're worth and your values aren't aligned with them. Stoicism teaches that being self-sufficient and valuing oneself are important values that are lost when someone is constantly trying to win someone's love. People often chase after someone because they have a shortage mindset, which means they think that without that person, they might not be whole. Pitfall, thinking that happiness and worthiness are outside of ourselves and must be aggressively pursued in others. This approach not only lowers your self-esteem, but can also make you less attractive to the people you want, because people tend to value what is rare and self-sufficient. Desperation, on the other hand, often makes you lose interest in pursuing others instead of putting your energy into it. Focus on your personal growth and pursuits. Do things that make your life better and help you grow as a person. Start new hobbies. Investing in your career, learning new things and volunteering will not only boost your self-esteem, but also make you more interesting and attractive to others. For example, 
Think about the difference between someone who spends their evenings and weekends trying to make friends and someone who uses that time to learn a new language, volunteer or make art. The latter person gains skills, confidence and a sense of fulfillment that naturally attracts others. They are not seen as trying to make friends. They are admired and sought after. When you live a life full of personal achievement and happiness, you create a magnetic aura around yourself that draws others to your self-reliance and independence. Stoic philosophy says that the best way to attract good relationships is not to desperately seek them out, but to become someone who is worthy of being pursued. In other words, work on becoming the best version of yourself. Live a life that other people want to be a part of, not because you need them to fill a void, but because you have so much to offer. Remember that true attraction is about drawing people in with your vibrancy and completeness, not chasing them in hopes of validation. Number three, cultivate your own happiness. One thing that really sets respected people, who you might call alphas, apart is their ability to make their own happiness. This isn't just about being positive. It's a deep understanding that happiness comes from inside, not from connections or validations from the outside. The stoic philosophy of controlling oneself and one's emotions tells us that our actions and choices determine our happiness, not how others treat us. Often, people base their emotional state on how others, especially romantic interests, treat them. This dependence turns them into mere reactants to someone else's presence and actions, giving others too much control over their emotional well-being. For example, someone who thinks that winning over a certain person is the key to their happiness is setting themselves up for disappointment because they put their sense of worth and emotional stability in the hands of someone who is naturally unstable. Stoicism tells us to focus on making joy out of the things we do every day and the thoughts we have about them. Simple things can bring you happiness or make it happen. It doesn't matter if it's a hobby you love, a work accomplishment or personal growth. Reading meditation and physical fitness, for example. Consider someone who cultivates a garden or someone who writes daily. These activities are not dependent on anyone else's approval, but are fulfilling in their own right by fostering this inner contentment. You naturally become more attractive and interesting to others. People are drawn to those who exude genuine happiness and confidence. Imagine meeting someone whose happiness is self, sourced who isn't desperate for someone else to fill a void, but instead offers a partnership of mutual joy and growth. This scenario is far more appealing than one where happiness is seen as something to be extracted from others. Thus, instead of making someone else the key to your happiness, focus on activities that make you feel fulfilled and alive. Let your happiness be something others can share in, not something they're responsible for. Creating this shift in perspective not only makes you more emotionally resilient, but also more desirable as a companion who adds value rather than one who demands it. Stoicism is the view through which we will look at how to make yourself happy. Finding happiness within yourself is important for a full life in a world full of outside stresses and unknowns. Let's talk about how stoic ideas can help you find and keep your own happiness no matter what is going on around you. How to understand the definition of true happiness in Stoicism. Stoics say that the only way to find real happiness, eudaimonia, is to live a good life and make sure that your actions are in line with nature and reason. External versus internal. Happiness doesn't come from things or events outside of yourself. It comes from inner peace and virtue. You only need to change the way you think to be happy. This is all you need. Marcus Aurelius, pay attention to what you can change. Separating control. Make a list of the things you can control, like your thoughts and deeds, and the things you can't, like other people's opinions and outside events. How to use. Instead of trying to control outside forces, focus on making yourself and your responses better. The happiness in your life depends on the thoughts you have. Marcus Aurelius. Be thankful every day. Daily thoughts. Every day, take some time to think about what you're thankful for. Shifting perspective. This practice helps you stop thinking about what you don't have and start thinking about what you do have, which makes you happier. A wise person doesn't lament the things they don't have, 
but is happy about the things they do have. Epictetus, accept problems. See challenges as chances. The Stoics think that problems and difficulties are chances to grow as a person. When bad things happen, don't see them as setbacks. See them as chances to learn and get better. Difficulties make the mind stronger, just like work makes the body stronger. Seneca. Relationships. Why would someone be interested in you if you are unstable and lack self-discipline? Even if you find temporary companionship without a foundation of self-respect and purpose, a lasting connection is unlikely. On the other hand, when you focus on personal growth and reaching your goals, your self-worth rises and naturally attracts others to you. Women are often attracted to men who are strong, independent, and in line with their values. This isn't because they want approval, but because they are strong and stable instead of wasting time and energy trying to please other people. Focus on building on your skills and going after your goals. Find out what you're good at and make a promise to get even better at it, whether it's a professional skill, a personal project, or a physical endeavor. Doing well in these areas not only makes you a better person, but it also makes you more appealing. As Stoicism says, greatness is on the other side of hardship, and you need the right mindset to get through these problems. You can become a man of value who chases dreams instead of fleeting desires. This way of living will make others want to be a part of your life, not because you need them to complete you, but because they respect and admire the person you are. This change will not only improve your relationships, but it will also fundamentally change how you experience life and attract real connections. Number 6. Understand the psychology of attraction. Let's bust a myth right away. Ignoring women or acting like you don't care won't make anyone fall in love with you. If it did, then every shy or introverted person would be the center of attention, which obviously isn't how things work. What does work, though, is knowing the subtle psychological rules that can make you more attractive without games or tricks. People have used different methods to find partners in the past. Some have shown off their physical prowess, while others relied on wit or charm. From a stoic point of view, the focus is not on manipulation, but on understanding human nature and using this knowledge in a wise and moral way. So how can you spark genuine interest? Being honest and factual in all of your interactions is a good way to build trust and credibility. People are naturally drawn to someone they can rely on to be honest, and this is true for all relationships. Being seen as reliable and honest makes you more attractive and can make people lower their guard around you. For example, when you share your genuine passions, accomplishments, and even your weaknesses in an open way, you present yourself as authentic and relatable, this authenticity is compelling and attractive. It creates a safe space for others to be themselves, which is the basis of all strong connections. Also, knowing about the psychology of attraction means knowing how important time and patience are. Stoicism teaches us how to live in harmony with nature. In this case, that means realizing that relationships need time to grow and shouldn't be rushed or forced. This patient approach is very different from the crazy, often pointless efforts of people who desperately want love. Instead of chasing after someone, work on improving yourself and your virtues. Passionately go after your goals and interests and let your deeds speak for themselves. People are naturally drawn to people who are committed to personal excellence and who live full interesting lives. By following these principles, you can develop a magnetic personality that attracts others not because you use tricks, but because you have qualities that are naturally attractive, such as confidence, dependability, and honesty. These are signs of someone who knows not only the psychology of attraction, but also how to be a good person. Attraction is a strong and complicated force that affects how people connect with each other in many ways. Understanding the psychological reasons behind attraction can help you make better friends, romantic partners, or business connections. It can also teach you a lot about how people act and interact with each other. Attraction isn't just about how someone looks. It's caused by many things such as mental, intellectual, and social factors. By studying the psychology of attraction, we can learn more about why we are drawn to certain people and how to make our relationships more important and satisfying. 
Physical Attraction The First Draw When you're attracted to someone, you probably feel physically drawn to them first. Biology and evolution have shaped this kind of attraction through things like symmetry, health signs and the ability to reproduce. Even though looks can get people interested at first, they are generally not enough to keep a relationship going for a long time. Symmetry and health signs are biologically based, from the point of view of evolution, traits that assist in reproduction. Limitation. Physical attraction is often the start of a relationship, but for it to last, there need to be greater reasons. Emotional link. The heartfelt bond. Emotional attraction comes from the thoughts and experiences that two people share. People often feel connected to each other when they understand, care about and share the same beliefs. Emotional bonds make people feel close and safe, which are very important for relationships to last. How important it is to understand and have respect. What role do shared experiences and ideals play? Emotional ties make us feel safer and closer to each other. 3. Intellectual Attraction when good ideas come together. Being intellectually attracted to someone means admiring their mind and the way they think. This kind of attraction grows when two people have interesting conversations, similar hobbies and a lot in common intellectually. It builds respect and love, which are important for keeping relationships going for a long time. Intellectual compatibility and talks that are interesting, respect for each other and shared hobbies. In respectful long-term partnerships, it's important. Attraction to others, how environment affects. It people are attracted to each other based on their social status, attitude and how they act in a group. This is called social attraction. When it comes to this kind of attraction, things like self-confidence, social skills and image are very important. The way people interact with each other can have a big effect on who we like and how relationships grow. What role do trust and social skills play? How social status and image affect things, the role of social interactions in attraction, and the growth of relationships. Chemistry. The force you can't see chemistry is a word that's often used to describe the strange and mysterious way that people feel connected to each other. Physical, mental, intellectual and social factors all play a role in this part of attraction. People often use the words spark or connection to describe strong feelings of fit and desire that come from chemistry. An interplay of mental, emotional, social and physical forces. The unique and often hard to understand nature of chemistry. How chemistry can make you feel strongly connected and want something. When you understand the science of attraction, you can see all the different things that bring people together. We can make deeper, more important connections with others if we understand and value the different aspects of attraction such as physical, emotional, intellectual, social, and the elusive chemistry. This information not only helps you make friends, but it also helps you keep those friends and grow them over time, which makes your social and personal life better. Number 7. Embrace Neutrality It's normal to see someone in a mostly positive light when you're interested in them. That's the nature of infatuation. You tend to focus on the good and ignore the bad, which can create an unbalanced view that can lead to disappointment and problems in the future from a practical point of view. To build good, long-lasting relationships, it's important to stay neutral and emotionally balanced. Stoicism tells us to see things as they really are, without letting strong emotions cloud our judgment. When you're in love, you might miss possible flaws and warning signs, which can make it harder to connect with someone on a deeper, more realistic level. In a relationship, the goal shouldn't just be to find a partner, but also to build a lasting, suitable bond. For example, when you meet someone new, don't let your feelings decide everything. Instead, take a step back. Use your common sense to figure out if the relationship is a good fit. Think about how well your values match, how well you both handle disagreements, and whether your life goals are similar or different. This isn't about focusing on the bad things, but about trying to be a balanced person who has both strengths and possible problems. Let's say you meet someone who seems to have a lot of the qualities you admire. It's easy to get swept away by these good qualities, but it's better to watch how they deal with stress, act in different social situations and treat the people around them. These actions can tell you a lot more about their character 
than how they act on the surface. Being neutral doesn't mean not caring about or interested in potential partners. It means interacting with them in a well-thought-out way and not letting your heart decide without your head's input. This balanced approach lets you make better decisions about whether to deepen the relationship, making sure that your emotional investment is sound in the long run. Taking a neutral stance can save you a lot of emotional turmoil. It helps you build relationships based on mutual respect, understanding and real compatibility, instead of idealized perceptions that can lead to heartbreak. This is why Stoicism tells us to temper our passions with reason and to approach relationships with a mind. Mindset that values lasting connection over fleeting emotion. Number 8. Cultivate awareness. There are a lot of people out there today who try to sell easy answers to hard problems, especially when it comes to relationships and self-improvement. Solutions are often given as one-size-fits-all advice that promises quick results to people who are desperate enough to look for one. But Stoicism says that real wisdom comes from realizing how complicated life is and taking a more thoughtful, individualized approach to problems. Watch out for people who give advice that seems to work for everyone. If you follow that advice without thinking about your own situation, it can make you feel frustrated, like you have no control over your life and start to feel bad. The Stoic way of life stresses how important it is to listen to your inner voice and use thought at the same time. It's about staying true to yourself while dealing with other people's advice and expectations. For example, if you're trying to improve your social skills or maybe find a partner, you may come across tips that say you should act or say certain things. But blindly following such advice without thinking about whether it fits with your personality and values can be harmful and ultimately useless. Everyone is different with their own strengths, weaknesses and life experiences. Instead of looking for and following, think about what works for someone else. It might not work for you. Solutions for everyone. Focus on getting to know yourself and what's important to you in a deep way. Think about what you've done. Recognize your uniqueness and follow advice that fits with your personal values and the facts of the situation. For example, if advice to be more assertive doesn't feel right because you value kindness and empathy, then change how you act to find a balance that fits your personality while still aiming for effectiveness in interactions. Being mindful and self-aware will not only help you avoid the mistakes that come with following general advice, but it will also give you the power to make choices that are more likely to bring you real happiness and success. Stoicism isn't about following rules. It's about understanding the ideas behind them and using these ideas wisely in your own life. As you read all the tips about relationships and self-improvement, keep an open mind. Considering mind, check the truth and usefulness of what you hear, and always think about how it applies to your own life. By doing this, you develop not only wisdom, but also the strength that comes from living in line with your true self. This path doesn't lead to short-term successes in chasing desires, but to lasting fulfillment and important accomplishments. Being aware is the key to growing as a person and having a meaningful life. During the busyness of daily life, we often get stuck in habits and miss the beauty of the present moment. Being more aware means paying attention to our thoughts, feelings and surroundings. This helps us live more consciously and clearly. This practice helps us understand ourselves and the world around us better, which makes us more empathetic, strong and happy. As we become more aware, we learn how to deal with the problems in life in a cool and collected way. Being present in the present moment helps us break free from automatic responses and connects us more deeply with our true selves. When we become more aware, we learn how to live our lives with meaning, which makes them more balanced and satisfying. Every day, practice being mindful. Setting aside time every day to practice focus is what this means. A simple way to do this is to pay attention to your breath or the way your body feels. Being mindful helps you stay in the present and lowers your stress. Start by focusing on your breathing for a few minutes every morning and evening. As you get better at the practice, slowly lengthen the time you do it for. Watch your thoughts without judging them. Notice the thoughts that come and go through your mind without giving them any names or opinions. Putting some distance between your thoughts and your deeds 
can help you see things more clearly. In practice, just recognize a bad thought when it comes up and let it go. Think of it as a cloud going by in the sky, instead of something that makes you who you are. Pay attention to how you feel. Meaning, our emotions are strong signs of how we're feeling inside. You can learn more about what matters to you and what makes you happy or stressed by paying attention to how you feel in different scenarios. How to use. During the day, check in with yourself and write down how you're feeling. It can help you better control your feelings and act in ways that are in line with your values if you do this. Take part in activities fully. Full participation in activities like working, eating or spending time with loved ones makes the experience better and brings you closer to the present moment. Application Pick one thing you do every day like eating and give your full attention to that experience. Don't think about anything else while you taste, feel and notice how your body reacts. Think about your day with thanks. Understanding being aware is increased by reflecting and being thankful, which makes you value the good things in your life. This helps you stop thinking about what you don't have and start thinking about what you do have. Application At the end of each day, take a moment to think about what went well and be thankful for it. Writing in a book, or just taking a moment to think about the good things in your life, can help you do this. You can become more aware and mindful by making these routines a part of your daily life, then, you live a happier, more peaceful life, which makes it easier to deal with the complicated things that happen in it. Number 9. Recognize the abundance of opportunities. It might sound hard to hear, but accepting that there are many fish in the sea is very important, especially when it comes to relationships. Stoicism teaches us to see the world as it really is, without our strong personal biases or attachments distorting our view of it. The person you think is irreplaceably special is actually just another person among billions. When you focus too much on one person, thinking they hold the key to your happiness or are uniquely meant for you, you unintentionally give them too much power over your emotions and, by extension, your well-being. This way of thinking can be very harmful. It narrows your world and can lead to what's called an incel mentality, where you feel alone and angry because your expectations aren't met and your view of relationships is skewed, take a look at the idea that falling deeply in love with someone without understanding their role in your life can get in the way of your personal growth. If you think there is only one person out of billions who is right for you, you might miss out on great opportunities with others who might also be a good fit. You might also give up your self-respect and worth in search of an idealized relationship that only exists in your head. Stoicism discourages this way of thinking by promoting a view of life that puts self-sufficiency and personal virtue over external validations. Remember that about half of the world's people are women. Realistically and statistically, there isn't likely to be only one perfect match for you. Accepting this can free you from needless despair and fixation. Instead, focus on building a sense of worth that comes from who you are, not who you are with. Create relationships that respect each other's independence and help you grow as a person. By seeing more possible connections and broadening your view, you lower the pressure on yourself and the people you meet to be perfect or irreplaceable. This not only makes you more emotionally strong, but it also makes you more attractive as a partner. When someone knows their worth and sees the world with clarity and promise, they are naturally more attractive. They aren't desperately looking for someone to make their life complete. Instead, they are open to real connections that make their already full life better in some way. Having a stoic attitude toward relationships means realizing and welcoming the many chances in life that let you keep your dignity and self-respect in all your interactions. This view not only makes your daily life better, but it also keeps your emotions in check as we come to the end of our look at how stoic principles can help us build stronger relationships and grow as people. An important message should always be with you. Always try to be better than you were yesterday. Every day is a new chance to strive for excellence in every part of your life. It's important to understand how the mind works and use simple, moral methods to connect with those around you more deeply. It's also important to remember 
that clear thinking and wisdom should guide your decisions, not emotions. Emotions are important, but they can get in the way of doing the right thing. Watch out for advice that seems too easy or that takes advantage of your need for help right away. Real progress comes from honest work and a deep understanding of the ideas involved, not just trying to get things done right away. In the end, solutions remember how important it is to tell the difference between simple goodness and the search of true virtue. Building depth and strength in your character does more than just make you stand out. It gives you the strength and honesty you need to handle the challenges of life with grace and purpose. If you found this video interesting and want to learn more about similar topics, don't miss the recommended video that should now be showing up on your screen. Make sure you click on it for a more in-depth look. I also encourage you to subscribe to our channel. That way, you'll have access to a lot more content that will help you learn more. About similar topics, don't miss the recommended video that should now be showing up on your screen. Make sure you click on it for a more in-depth look. I also encourage you to subscribe to our channel. That way, you'll have access to a lot more content that will help you learn more and start a more thoughtful and impactful journey through life. Thank you very much for watching, and remember that the path to personal excellence never ends. Every day brings a chance to move forward, learn and grow, and each step you take is important for making your life more satisfying and enriching. Embrace this never-ending journey, and let each new day inspire you to reach your highest potential.